Hey guys, so what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm having a really weird day and I kind of just want to like chit chat with you guys, uh, but I still want to give you some cleaning motivation. So today's video, um, I'm just going to be cleaning my kitchen. Nothing really crazy at all, just kind of like some instant cleaning motivation. Um, I'm actually home with Evie today. We got a snowstorm, which actually wasn't a snowstorm and it's just like this gross slushy mess <laughs> but she's home with me today so I am going to just clean my kitchen nothing crazy because I do want to spend a lot of time with her today um, and then after I play all the clips from cleaning my kitchen I do want to sit down and talk to you and kind of give you guys a little life update um, and just kind of share some things with you so yeah so let's jump into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it motivates you and inspires you. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Jessa. Please consider subscribing if you're new. I would love to have you part of my little YouTube family. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it so I know that you like it. And let's jump into the cleaning. I wish I could walk away Wish I didn't have to see our face again I wish I could, but I can't I wish I could just say no Wish I knew how to tell you what I want I wish I could, but I can't
Okay, 
So now that cleaning is done, I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a pretty bad day and I feel like I've been having a pretty bad month. Like all of 2021 has just been, basically it, I just wanna share some things with you. I just, I feel like as subscribers, like I owe it to you to talk about these things. Um, you guys know that I'm like very big on my privacy and I don't talk a whole lot about my personal life or um, give you any big details about my life because I just really respect my own privacy. I respect my family's privacy. Um, so it's kind of this fine line of wanting to be relatable and wanting to have a relationship with my subscribers, but also wanting to maintain as much or or maintaining as much privacy as I possibly can. So that kind of being said, um, it has been feeling really disingenuous. It has been feeling really wrong and just not genuine to continue to post content without talking about this <laughs> because I am struggling with this and I feel like as a content creator, I should talk to my subscribers about it. But basically I have been really, really struggling the past month. Um, really pretty intense depression, pretty intense anxiety. And it feels wrong to come on camera all the time and just like smile and be like, hey guys, what's up? Like, hope you have a great day. <laughs> Um, that feels wrong because like, that's not my reality. Like my reality is I have, it's taken everything in my power to post two videos a week. And there's been a lot of crying. There's been a lot of just like everything happening the past month. And I, you know, I kind of just want to share it with you. It's just like, if you're really struggling right now, which like you deserve that, like everybody deserves to have that moment, especially like coming out of 2020, like it's okay to not be okay. Pretty much, you know, like if you survived 2020, like that's a W like check Mark, you know, um, you know, if you are brand new here, I'm so sorry that this is your first video and this is like your first exposure to me. <laughs> um, because I really do try to keep my channel like a really happy and positive place. But like I said, it just, it's been feeling really wrong to not talk about this. And yeah, I just, I don't ever, I don't want to be fake, truly. And... <sighs> Back when COVID first hit, like in March for us, like I know it hit like in other parts of the country earlier, but we really got hit in March. Um, when COVID hit, my husband had major surgery literally a day before his surgery. We went in, or like the day after his surgery, we went into lockdown. The day before his surgery, I got laid off. I had found this really amazing uh, like part-time gig like the hours were perfect, everything was perfect. And I got laid off. And it was a blessing in disguise because like I said, Chris did have major surgery. It was much more intense than we anticipated. It was kind of one of those surgeries where like they didn't know what they were gonna find until they got in there. And then when they got in there, they were like, oh, like this is intense. <laughs> so uh, COVID hit, Chris had surgery, I had just gotten laid off, schools closed, so I was like having to be like a full-time mom, a full-time nurse, a full-time teacher, just everything. And I cracked, truly. Like I had a breakdown. Uh, and I chose to leave social media for like eight weeks. And I actually left Instagram for longer than that. I think Instagram was closer to like three months. And I gotta be honest, I'm starting to feel that way again my like gut reaction is telling me to like run far away from social media, but I'm in a tricky situation like cause I am a content creator and YouTube is an income for me. And 
I, you know, with YouTube, like, I, I don't have vacation time. Like, if you don't work, you don't get paid. <laughs> you know? Um, so that's kind of why I'm talking to you, because it feels fake to show up here and, like, pretend like everything's fine and just, like, get a paycheck, but, like, my heart's not in it. So, yeah. Um, they, you know, like, it, it's kind of the same thing that happened to me in March, is... I'm doing a lot of comparison, like com comparison. I'm doing a lot of comparing myself to others. Social media is always like this magical place where everything's fine and everybody's great and everybody's buying $2 million houses and getting pregnant and like rolling around in money. <laughs> and you know, like before I even continue, like I know what a lot of, I know a lot of things that I'm saying right now, like aren't true, but I think a lot of people can relate to me that like you know deep down that like everybody has problems and the vast majority of people don't live like that but it's just like a handful of people at the top that can make it really hard and even more than that like they're not doing anything wrong and and this is just coming from a place of jealousy like I'm jealous of their life and like, that's not their fault. Like, if I had it, I'd buy a $2 million house. Like, you know? <laughs> um, I don't even really have a point to any of this, guys. Truly. Um, I just, I feel like I'm doing the work. Like, I'm in therapy. I do my gratitude practice every day. I'm journaling. I'm doing my stupid affirmations. And just nothing's really helping and obviously like covid like that's kind of obviously not kind of like that is a big player in things you know i think like a big issue that i'm dealing with is i'm kind of mourning the life that i thought that i was gonna live which is like one of my favorite sayings ever um chris works in an industry that was like really heavily impacted by covid and back in March, like we had all these hopes and dreams of what was going to, what our life was going to be like. And he was like, he was excelling at his, in his career. Like, oh my goodness, his career was taking off. Like it was nuts. And COVID hit and that all stopped. And that was it. Like, sorry, man, I don't know what to tell you. Like the economy crashed, you know? So that was kind of like another reason that I left back in March is we just had a lot on our plate. Um, so things are improving and I'm, I am happy to say that, but, uh, it's been a really long road and I'm still really, really struggling. Um, my weight is upsetting me again, which is making me upset. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys struggle with this, but like, do you ever get mad at yourself for being anxious? Because that's where I'm at with my anxiety is, Everything's fine. Like, we're safe. We have a house to live in. We can put food on the table. Like, we're all healthy, for better or for worse. Like, we're all healthy, right? And I'm like, I get mad that I'm, that I'm comparing myself and I get angry that I'm anxious because, you know, I just, I get mad at myself that, like, my brain works this way. But, like, with my body and my image and my, um health, I've kind of realized over the past year, like 2020 was a big year for health for me. And when it all came crashing down, like back in March, I said to myself, like, I guess I better pull it together. Like I need to be the best version of myself in order to take care of Chris and homeschool Evelyn and take care of myself. So like my nutrition was dialed in and I was working out five times a week. It was great. Um, and before Christmas, I had lost 16 pounds in total. And it was great. I was feeling great. Um, and I've just kind of realized that, like, I gain a lot of my self-esteem and I gain, gain a lot of self-confidence by accomplishing my health goals and accomplishing, like, having the discipline and having the willpower to accomplish those goals. So that's how I get a lot of my self-confidence. So the holidays hit and I did like for, I guess for lack of a better word, maintain my weight loss. Um, I think technically I've gained like a pound or two, but it really just depends on the day and it depends on when I weigh myself. Um, 
yeah, because I think I was like 127, 128 before Christmas, and this morning I was 130, so. Um, but it it's taken me, you know, all of January, like I really struggled to get back on the health wagon. I really ate like shit all January, and I really struggled with a lot of bad cravings, like sugar cravings and carb cravings. Um, Hi, everybody. Hi, honey. Mm. She's so cute. Um, I'm going to wrap this up because I want to go hang out with her. And uh, I don't know what we're going to play. I think we're going to play Candyland. <laughs> so, uh, I don't even remember where I was. <laughs> oh, my health goals. So, like, January, I really struggled to get back into those routines. And I had a lot of cravings. And um, I'm just really mad at myself that... I haven't been able to get back into those routines and that is affecting my confidence, which affects my anxiety. Um, I have an old shoulder injury that I've had for truly about 10 years. Um, it's this shoulder, like my main, my, my main shoulder, my dominant, like my dominant hand. <laughs> um, and whenever, like whenever I have a panic attack or get really anxious, like I can feel it just like tense up. So I have been in kind of physical pain, which doesn't help. Like physical pain and chronic pain cause depression and cause anxiety. And I'm just kind of a hot mess, to be honest. Um, I am working on it. Like I said, there's definitely some things that I'm doing um, that I'm working on things. My house is upsetting me. Um, I am in the middle of like home refresh and I just stabbed myself in the eye. I'm in the middle of home refresh, but we're at the point now where like, especially our downstairs just needs like all the finishing touches. So I need to do like all the electrical outlets. I need to do some cleaning and some decluttering down there. Um, but Chris is down there. Chris is working from home. So like I can't be down there during the week when he's down there. So, um, just like having, like being in an unfinished space and like everything being like half ass, like everything's half done, that also really wears on me. So I think this weekend I'm actually going to take some time and like finish the projects. Honestly, I probably, downstairs I probably have like an hour or two of work that I have to get done. It won't take me that long. I just have to do it. Um, but yeah. That's where I'm at and I just wanted to talk to you guys because like I said, it has been feeling really wrong to come on camera and pretend that everything's right and everything's fine when in fact like it couldn't be farther from fine. Like I, I'm really struggling mentally, emotionally, physically, everything. And again, I know that there's no point to telling you guys all this. I know that I have a good life and I know that I kind of just need to like shut up and get over it. But if you are struggling, like I get it and it's okay. Like take your time, take your time, take the day and like, I don't know. Either way, guys, I'm going to head out. I, re I really want to spend some time with Evie today. Um, I know this was a weird video. I know it was, like, I don't know. I know it was a, a weird video. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys listen listening to me, like, complain about my life. That is, you know, pretty good. I, I Whatever. I don't know. I'm just in a weird place. So... I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and um, I hope if you're struggling that this helps and like I hope you know that you're not alone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.